All right, a lot of people don't want to hear this, but this is something that needs to be said. If you ignore text, you're essentially safe. You are the worst of the worst, no questions asked. Bottom 1,000 humans to exist on the planet. My G, respond to a message. Just respond. Just respond. I, I want to know about your day and your life. Are you not? Go respond. Like, come on, man. Who does that? Who does that? I, I do. I do that. So I'm not like the best at responding. Usually I'll respond if you're willing to wait three to five business days. But there's like a solid 60% chance that that sh isn't shipping. Look, I know that sounds bad, but I promise I'm not an awful person. To be honest, I don't know why I act like this. Okay, that was a lie. I don't feel like responding to people. That's the reason. Like, if you're checking up on me to make sure I'm not dead in my room, cool. There's a one in five chance that that's the possibility. If you're a fan telling me you like my videos, yes, please. My self-esteem is very low. I really need that. But other than that, there are, like, no guarantees. And by no guarantees, I mean no guarantees. I left my grandma on red once. No, no, seriously. It was a birthday text. She texted me happy birthday. And I ain't hit her with a love you, thank you, nothing. I, I ain't say anything. Regardless, I, I need to be stopped. See, I like conversations, but not all the time. And that kind of transitions into the texting world i know that doesn't really like defend me not texting back my grandma and by the way that's no diss to you person watching this who actually has my number and i ignore chronically the fact that you have my contact information means we cool like i don't be passing that shit out on a whim look sometimes i would rather just not talk and then you put you in that equation and talk and it just doesn't work out i don't want talk and you i don't want talk plus you i don't want to talk to you sh that's not what i meant <sighs> okay look am i one of the worst texters in the tri-state area yes but does that make me a bad person yes but listen that's not always the case sometimes i just don't know what to say whether it be a statement that doesn't need a response or a question that i just don't know how to answer like people be coming to me with some deep questions about life and feelings boy i had an emotional breakdown after burning a toaster strudel the other day uh, you, you sure i'm the person to talk to about this honestly what are you supposed to say to someone who's texting you while simultaneously having a mental breakdown i haven't felt truly happy in months my life is falling apart like i'm entering a dark depression that i just can't seem to shake no idea what to do or who to go to anymore what am i supposed to say to that but you know those situations aren't always the case the other day i woke up and saw a new message from a friend of mine from high school and i was kind of surprised because it was like a deep personal question but this time one that like i actually understood it says something like do you ever feel like your thoughts are coming from different parts of you like you have your own conscious voice and other thoughts pop up that aren't that same voice. And when I read it, I wanted to give a really thoughtful response because this friend had been dealing with a lot of introspective thoughts lately and she's been trying to figure herself out. And that's something I can admire. So I sat down for five to six minutes and came up with probably the deepest response I had ever given her. Like I sat there and mulled over it for some time and came up with something that I thought was truly compelling. An answer that had some heart and soul behind it. Something that she would read and it would help her understand that I understood. And then I never sent it. <laughs> I didn't type it in. I just answered in my head. Why? <laughs> What's the, why? I do stuff like that all the time. Like I read the text in my head and then just don't answer it. For real this time, I honestly couldn't tell you why I do that. Maybe I just hate people. Maybe I just hate myself. Uh, who knows? But all in all, I'm working on it. I, I mean, I'm working through it. I'm solely trying to text people back more often and start conversations and whatnot. So if y'all want to hit me up, uh, for sure, go, go ahead. But if I don't respond, now you know why. Also, I promise, like, I'll, I actually try to respond. I'm like, I, I'm a decent person. I'm... <laughs> what's up y'all so please do me the biggest favor and like the video if you liked it share it up with some people who might also be terrible texters like myself and if you're new here why not subscribe i, I mean that sounds like a great idea to me and, and let me know if i'm the only one who's terrible at texting <laughs> also quick side note i want to like have text conversations i'm just like really i'm really bad at maintaining them especially when it comes to people who like are struggling like i really want to help people but it's just sometimes like i 
I, I don't know what to say, but I'll, I'll always try. <laughs> so each of these videos I make, I, I slowly break the illusion that I'm some type of decent human. But yeah, that's about it. Um, We got a shout out to do though. Shout out winner is, hey, my man, Big Mike Smooth. <laughs> Thanks for the retweet, man. This dude has been a supporter since even before I started this channel. So uh, much love to you, man. Seriously, thanks for sticking along on this ride. Uh, I'm glad I get, finally get you a shout out. But that's about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm out. Peace.